Hi, my name is Matthew Pinsker. I'm a historian, and here are some things you need to know to sound smart about the role of women in the Civil War. We think of the Civil War as a brother's war, as a man's conflict, and yet women played important and critical roles at every level of the conflict. For example, most people don't realize this. There were some women who dressed as men and served as soldiers in both armies. There were other women who supported military personnel by serving as spies or as scouts. Women like Elizabeth Van Loo, who had a network of spies, mostly female, who worked all the way through to the Confederate White House in Richmond. Of course, the most famous spy of all, perhaps, during the Civil War was Harriet Tubman, who served as a spy for Union Army forces in South Carolina. During the Civil War, women increasingly began to carve out space for themselves as nurses and as hospital administrators or sometimes as matrons. These women provide critical support on the battlefield and behind the battlefield. There were women administrators on both sides. There were also women who served as teachers. Northern women from New England states often traveled down to the occupied Confederate states to help educate black soldiers and former slaves. There were also women who played vital roles in factories on both sides, but especially in the North at places like the Allegheny Arsenal. There were also women, of course, who were political leaders. Two of the leading feminists in the 19th century, Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony, actually suspended their women's rights campaigns during the conflict and then worked on behalf of the Union uh, as loyal supporters, but who also pressed for grassroots activist measures like the abolition of slavery, gathering over a million signatures on petitions supporting a 13th Amendment. That demonstrated the future power of women in American political life. Young people in large numbers came out and joined what became known as the Red Guards. These largely terroristic organizations were used to publicly humiliate, assault, and in some cases, even murder political enemies of Mao and the Communist Party.